Hello, Cancer. So this will be a general reading for the sign of Cancer. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Do not try to force the reading to fit um, the message to fit. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, let's get to the reading and see what messages come through for you guys. Okay, so what messages do you have for the sign of Cancer? What messages do you have for the sign of Cancer? A win-win outcome is forecast. Conclusions are within reach. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra, um, but conclusions are within reach and either way you're going to win. <laughs> so I'm seeing that things are balancing out within the situation. So, but you are being asked to have patience um, in regards to the situation. So, but conclusions are within reach. Even though you're being asked to have patience, and the reason why you're being asked to have patience is because I am picking up this sense of urgency, this sense of anxiousness, um, and that's never good when you guys are in the process of manifesting something within your life. So that's why you're being asked to have patience with the situations, because while you're in the process of manifesting what you guys want, um, to remain confident um, because conclusions are within reach. So that means that within the near future, you guys will see what you guys want manifesting into reality for you regarding the situation. Things balancing out within your life, within this particular situation. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys, this is regarding a particular, uh, a particular love situation. And part of the reason why the situation has not um, evolved is because of lack of communication. Someone does not quite know exactly like what to say. They're struggling to express themselves. So, but I'm seeing that either way, it's like it's going to work out. All right, what messages do you have for cancer? Okay, so you guys have the seven of swords and the nine of wands in reverse so the seven of swords is coming clean being honest about something and um the nine of wands talks about giving up on a particular situation so no longer having it's like not having the strength to carry on It's like, this is deceit, lies and deceit, but coming clean, being honest about it, and being honest about a particular situation that has been going on long enough, and it's like, I no longer have the strength to carry on in a particular situation. It's like you're being honest about a particular situation that has wounded you. It's like you've been, you put enough effort towards the situation. That's what I'm getting. So it's like you guys are being honest with yourself regarding a particular situation that you have put enough effort towards. Yeah, and it's regarding love. So, it's someone that you guys had a lot of um, love towards. And what you're being honest, it's like that you guys have waited long enough for someone. And it's like if this person was truly meant 
to be in your life if you were truly meant to be with this person it's like this relationship would have developed by now and that's what i'm getting from this read and you're it's like despite how harsh it is like how harsh the reality is it's like it's time for you to be honest about the situation too so yeah it, i'm saying it's like you guys no longer because uh, it's i'm saying that first of all you guys no longer investing in this situation um and the reason why is because this person it's like they did not and it's like they first of all they did not treat you well and they are going to regret the way that they treated you um they are going to reflect back on not putting forth effort towards this relationship and realizing that had they put forth the it's gonna come a time here in the future where this person is gonna reflect on um their laziness their lack of effort towards this relationship the way that they treated you and the fact that you given you have given up on this connection and they're gonna say man had i put forth the effort towards this connection we really could have been something together and they're going to really regret um, losing you. What is the recent past? What is the history between this connection? What is the recent past? Yeah, someone kept you wondering someone kept you waiting um it's like you felt lonely you and you also it's yeah they were this was someone who was very much cold um very this was a bachelor as well this was someone who wanted you to compete for their affection um but they withheld they withheld communication from you and they kept they kept you in this state of wondering um like where was this connection going and they never communicated it's like that i'm not, i'm really getting a sense of mind games a lot of mind games with this person and it's like they really took advantage of you a lot of cold energy from this person a lot of mental games a lot of mind games they knew exactly what they were doing um when they were doing this when they shut off communication from you they knew that they left you wondering they knew that you because i'm getting it's like you guys made um attempts to reach out to this person and they just refused to you know really give you any clear response any you know it's like you just didn't know exactly where this was going so it was hard for you to fully release this relationship so even though it's like you may have had other potential suitors after you you never allowed yourself to um fully embrace the possibility of a new relationship because you wanted you know you wanted to wait on this person you didn't want to jump into a new relationship and then all of a sudden this person comes back and then it's like oh no no so you kept yourself you know isolated in a sense i'm saying it's like you remain like open to other relationships but it's like you never jumped into a new relationship Why are you currently manifesting at this present moment? 
flow is currently coming in for you at this present moment. Flow is cancer currently manifesting at this current moment. manifest and it's like after a period of healing it's like you guys have you know after this situation I'm seeing you guys like healing it's like things balancing out in your life it's like there will be um, you guys will have options an option and love coming in for you um, soulmate someone that has been divinely guided into your life and i'm seeing that you guys will make a decision to um expand like your horizon no longer being stuck in this energy of depression but it's like you guys will choose to um see beyond um this connection because you're healed it's like you realize you deserve more than what has brought chaos and confusion in your along your journey in the past. Yeah. And of course, as you are trying to release the past, the past wants to come back and they're like, hey, because now they, re you know, they realize like, dang, I wish I would have invested more. I hate that I held these emotions in. And they have... All of these suppressed emotions are now coming to the surface that they want to get off their chest. But it's, you're in this energy like, that's not my problem. Like, you're the one who did not want to focus on this relationship. I did all that I could. So you're in this energy like, you know what? You no longer are beating yourself up about this connection because you realize, I did all that I could. Yeah, you're realizing, like, I did all that I could, but you also have this person that they want to, yeah, I am definitely getting this, like, you're realizing you did all that you could, that it, you know, the fact that this relationship failed, it never, or it never developed, is not your fault. Now you have this person, they want to express the way they truly feel. They want to, you know, they want you to know, you know, how they truly feel. And they want to, you know, come clean. They want to tell you, you know, I know I did not put forth the effort towards this commit, uh, towards this relationship, towards this commitment. So some of you guys, like, they see you as a person that they want to be commit committed to. And it's like they want to express all of this to you. They want to, like, expose all of this to you. They come, want to come forth and express, you know, all of these emotions towards you. And it's like you're not even looking in this person's direction because you know it's like it's just not healthy for you to even see, you know, not, it, it, you know it's not healthy for you to even um, focus in that person's direction it's best because you feel you balance things out in your life and it's best for you to remain focused on the future yeah because there's a major change that's developing in your life yeah commitment so you guys are hesitant towards this new beginning that's coming in but it's coming in whether you like it or not. And it's leading you towards commitment. Because some of you guys are being forced to take a leap of faith that you guys are hesitant to take. Um, like you guys are maturing. There's a lot of maturity that's being, that's taking place here. And the maturity is, it's like you're developing into 
like an adult, like from being single and non-committal type relationships to someone who wants a solid committed relationship with you. So it's like it's time to leave home. It's time to leave the nest. And this is scary for you. This is something that's, a, you know, it's a shocking change. It's something that is really scary for you. So it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to jump. I'm, you know, I'm afraid. I'm scared. So you're scared. But you're ready. You know, you're emotionally mature. You have learned the lessons that you needed to. And you're ready for this commitment. You are. You're emotionally mature on the level that you need to be in order for this change that's coming into your life. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of you guys are leaving like a situation where it's like you just, you're not happy with like where you currently are because you're not getting like the support. You don't feel valued. Um, where you currently are and it's like you're coming into um, family wise and then it's like now you're coming into a place where now you'll be um, in a situation where it's like you're valued um, it's, it's a real sudden change for you guys and it's going to shock you because it's like it's like overnight changes and it's like people being like kicked out of your life because they didn't want you to have certain things in your life that you guys were meant to have. And it's like the universe is like stepping in to like force these changes into your life because you've been hesitant to take this leap of faith. And it's like, okay, now... I got to step in and do something. So we got the seven. So, yeah. It's like you're not seeing, um, you're not seeing this clearly yet. This abundant new beginning that's coming in for you because it's a lot of chaos that's surrounding you. But there is a major change coming in for you that's it's a blessing that's coming in for you that's about to balance things out in your life some of you guys this is re regarding like a person that's coming into your life someone that's like very that's going to be very generous towards you someone that loves you that's going to be like very affectionate and caring towards you this is definitely like a soulmate connection someone that you're destined and fated to be with um, that the universe is bringing into your life. Um, some of you guys already know this person, but they're coming in and when they do, they're balancing things out in your life. And the reason why you're being blessed with this person is because you guys have always been in relationships where you have been taken advantage of. Um, people have like basically like shattered you. And it's like now you guys are coming into a relationship where you guys are being treated the way that you have always treated you know, other people. Yeah. And so it's like, but there's a sense of confusion because you're over, I'm getting that you're overlooking this person because you have someone that you're still like fantasizing about. There's someone that you're still fantasizing about. Yeah. And so it's like, you're juggling this person. Um, not like you're dating two people at once, but it's like, you still are in this, like, decision making mode like I'm not sure if I you know if things are going to work out with me and this person in reality like you're trying to see which one of these um which one of these options are best fitted into your reality but I'm saying that some of you guys like are fantasizing about a particular person and it's causing you to overlook like the true gem that you are meant to be with 
yeah it's time for you guys to release these toxic patterns to release these toxic people that just no longer serve you um so what is your final advice for cancer spirit what is your final advice for cancer What is your final advice for cancer? So not to make a situation worse um also this talks about leaving movement um movement is so the thing is is that the six of swords so swords is very much about mental um communication as well so um communication if it's like withholding communication is keeping a situation stuck and it's causing is to get worse. It's causing stagnancy, you know, it's adding fuel to the fire by withholding communication. I'm also like, so another message that I'm getting is like someone like wants to just like elope, run away and elope with you. But with the seven of wands here, it's like someone deciding to like stand up, like like having like the urge to like defend, fight, you know. Either either they're, yeah. So six of swords in reverse, seven of wands upright. You got the hangman in the upright. You have the ten of wands in the upright. You have the three of wands in reverse and then you have the eight of um <clears throat> swords in the upright so So someone withholding communication is causing a lot of frustration and it's causing someone to wonder, you know, do they want me to compete for their affection or, you know, it's causing this person to, it's like someone is like, they, they took a step back from this situation because they were beginning to feel like overwhelmed, overburdened. It's like they felt like they were taking too much on, like a sense of like overwhelmed, overburdened. Like they felt like they were the only one, like pretty much carrying this relationship. So pretty much like um, they were the only one that had feelings. And so they had this sense of feeling overwhelmed. So they felt the need to step back. So I'm seeing that someone is not happy with a decision. And feeling stuck, but it's because of their own this is choosing to be stuck not realizing the power that you possess in these situations so this is like mentally telling yourself that you have to do something you it's like mentally telling yourself that you have to but you don't you're unhappy about something but you choose 
to play the victim or you choose not to take action. You choose to stay in this mental anguish. Now, there's this low energy, this slow determined energy to achieve what you wish for. Because there's a lot of like... Pretty much, I'm like really getting like miserable energy here. It's just kind of just like all over the place. Because this is like not choosing to expand because you're telling yourself that you're just like stuck. It's like, what can I do? I don't have any other choice but to stay here. It's like, I've tried all that I can do and now I'm just like stuck here. No one will help me. I'm stuck. I'm, you know, I, I'm stuck. I'm the victim. No one helps me. My hands are tied. I'm stuck in this situation. I don't have any way out. And this is very much a stuck energy too. And it's just like, things are just getting worse. And it's like, now this person is becoming like volatile. Like, And this is very much a stuck energy too. And you feel like overburdened in this situation as well. Now, but the seven of wands also talks about, it's very much an action. Um, so it's action as well. So the hangman is talking about, it's like, even though it's like, if you're unhappy with a particular situation, it's like, take a step back, see it from a different pers uh, perspective, pers perception. Um, there's something that you need to release because you've taken on more than you can bear. I'm seeing like a lot of opposing energy, a lot of, and that's the reason it's like, if you stay this is the reason why it's like you're determined it's like this is taking a long time and it's like you feel stuck in a particular situation that you were unhappy and and you felt just like a lot it's like overburdened by for a long time so this is okay i'm getting it now it was a lot here, um, Cancer, so just just bear with me. This is the message. I get it now. You feel stuck in a situation for a long time, unhappy and overburdened, um, and you really felt like there was no way out. It's been, you know, you've been working hard, doing whatever you can to overcome, you know, this obstacle, this, you know, to get out of the situation that you are currently in. Now, the Knight of Pentacles talks about persevering and persevering and achieving your goals, your wishes, your dreams. So this is very much a determined card it's like you guys are determined to get out of this stuck energy you're determined to whatever has been overburdening you whatever has um you're unhappy with that it's, it's like you're not willing to stay stuck you're not willing to be trapped in this type of energy and you're very much determined to achieve your dreams, your goals. And you are very much protected as well. So what I'm getting as far as like your advice is to know like that conclusions are within reach. Although, yes, this has been a long time coming that your efforts have not been in vain, that you cannot even phantom like how much of a blessing is in store for you. 
yes, it's like you have been carrying this burden for some time now, but it's about to pay off for you big time because you have remained patient. You have worked hard um, towards achieving your goals and persevering through these hardships, these challenges that you had to face. And now it's about to pay off for you. So, and then look, the Queen of Pentacles. Your efforts paying off. So the Queen of Pentacles talks about achieving, you know, a higher level of social status, wealth, um, attracting, you know, a lot of love stability working hard to achieve like your goals and you do achieve them being presented with something as well an offering I'm seeing like this defensive energy. Um, and it's still, it's like this frustration. It's like, where it's like you made a decision. It's like you turned down. It's like you're not happy in the present moment. And it's, but I'm also getting, it's like turning down an offer and it's because you feel like this person is trying to take advantage of you. Yeah, so, oh, I'm getting like someone coming back from your past. You guys will need to make a decision. And it's like, you guys don't see this person coming. But this person is only coming back because they see how much money you guys have acquired. They're coming back to, they're like, they're coming to offer like love, but behind it's like their motive is because they want like to be a part, like they want money from you basically. So, but you guys are like very guarded towards this person. This is someone that's coming back. Like you guys were in a relationship with this person um, some time ago. But it's like your mind is made up about this person. There's no, you guys don't even have to debate about this. It's like your mind is made up when it comes to this person. Um, because you you see this person as like greedy, materialistic. Um, they put forth no effort towards anything in their life. Um, and it's like, no, you can keep that for yourself. You just are not expecting this person to come towards you at all. So it's just like, that just came out the blue. Yeah. This person is like, you guys do not have the same values at all. And yeah, this is their justice coming back on them.
soul family. So call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. You guys are, um, you're, if you guys have been feeling lonely or you have disconnected, buy them, get in. It's like your soul family. Yeah, because there's an awakening taking place. Um, you guys are elevating to a different uh, level in your life and you're calling in your soul family. And that also includes like your soul mate as well. But a lot of you guys are starting to connect with different type of energies, different type of people. Um, after being isolated or withdrawing from a lot of people, having to um, separate yourselves from a lot of people. It's like now you're attracting different type of uh, energies into your life. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you, Cancer. If this reading resonates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you. Thank you.